We have done 200 builds in the past week and not a single Titan build or Warlock build. Now, don't get it wrong. Hunters, y'all just got some pretty cool exotics, which is the only reason why I'm on your class today. And let me just say this build, oh, it's nasty. First up, we're going to be taking the Grenade Launcher Truth Teller, combining it with one of our favorite hand cannons in the game, The Last Word, merging it with some exotic pants, combined with a perk called Disruption Break. Fellas, I think you see where we're going with this. So ladies and gents, I present to you a legal last word. Ah, uh, yeah. Kind of reminds you of an old build way back in the day. Oh, a legal ace although i will say illegal ace was just broken quite literally hence why it got patched lucky pants though combined with last word considering the hip fire buffs that have occurred this past year is absolutely insane so fellas let's dive into it first up the intrinsic perk or the exotic perk found on lucky pants illegally modded holster precision hits loads one round to the chamber of a stowed hand cannon hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them guys y'all remember that perk back inside of destiny one called hot swap was that not a nutty trait essentially swapping to a weapon would activate that trait and for like a few seconds your weapon had stupid amounts of aim assist slash bullet magnetism slash target acquisition everything under the sun aka you could hit some dumb shots with hot swap lucky pants is essentially hot swap for your last word. Now we talked about the target acquisition buffs that have occurred for last word. Again, Bungie's really trying to commit here to the whole hip firing cowboy thing. And I gotta say, I love it. Last word did get a nerf in its damage when you aim down sights, but when shooting from the hip, it still does very good damage at 68 per crit and 38 per body. And if you happen to land all three crits, the weapon still rocks a 0.53 second time to kill value. Now when you aim down sights, this of course drops the weapon off pretty significantly to just 52 damage per crit keeps the body shot damage there at 38 but 52 per crit on top of that the weapon just jumps all over the place which is why it's a necessity to be firing from the hip now pre two point whatever the hell the most recent update was that we had a sandbox jesus it feels like forever ago last word was really only good for controller users the hip fire buff was extremely noticeable for controller users but pc users you could tell it really dropped off for us we did not have the same target acquisition and at times i just thought the shots just outright blanked it seemed like there was a bloom element added to the weapon on top of what we already have default regardless though the most recent sandbox change has made the weapon more consistent not just for controller users but also for mouse and keyboard users and if you're combining it with the hot swap capabilities that lucky pants presents yeah called auto aim fellas that's what it's called welcome to destiny which takes us to our beautiful grenade launcher here i want this roll so bad we went over it last week with travels chosen insufficient fun locked down this roll for us and immediately i was thinking of all the different kinetic weapons we could combine here with this grenade launcher first up guys it comes with proximity grenades auto loading holster and that's right disruption break now disruption break gives us a 50 percent increase in damage in both pvp and in pve essentially breaking the shields of your enemies will make them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period something i didn't bring up last week as we were playing in rumble and by ourselves disruption break works for your teammates so even if you don't get the swap off to your kinetic weapon if you've got a teammate next to you already with their kinetic weapon out boom you break the shield of one of your enemies during a team engagement they are easy clean up with a primary weapon now in order to actually break the shield on an opponent inside of crucible you got to do at least 120 damage with your grenade launcher which was something like truth teller with its default blast radius and proxy nades that's not a difficult thing to do again we've mentioned that truth teller is the mountaintop replacement and i know a lot of people said last week yo Cross, why are you even bringing up True Teller? It's cheesy. At the end of the day, we say it's a mountaintop replacement, but nothing is really a mountaintop replacement. Let me just be real here. Mountaintop is in a league of its own. It's a mini rocket launcher. At least with True Teller, there is some travel time that occurs, allowing for some possibility of a counter, where that counter time frame really diminishes, really drops off here, is when you include perks like Disruption Break. This is what makes it, man. This actually throws the damage up here for last word to a whopping 103 damage per crit and 58 per body now 103 seems like overkill i get it maybe it is hell 58 is overkill where 103 might prove to be really beneficial is in situations where you have damage fall off even if you do do north of 120 damage with this grenade launcher the quick swap there the last word with that 103 damage might not be 102 103 depending on the range you're at and again 19 meters and plus 
you start running into damage fall off on last word pretty steeply especially when firing from the hip another thing that i really like with the increase though of that damage being one on three is when you go up against guardians that have healing effects most notably something like a worm husk hunter we've shown before that disruption break even if a hunter actually worm husks right at the moment you make contact with them with truth teller if disruption break applies they are still vulnerable to that kinetic damage even if they do something like roll on the ground get their health back boost the shield back in it's not like they get the shield back and all of a sudden okay they're good disruption breaks gone no it's applied it's still there you got four to five seconds to go to pound town on them with whatever kinetic weapon you got for a last word here especially with lucky pants everyone and their mama was easy cleanup and we were also combining this with a quick access sling mod again allows your swap to be even faster i don't know if this actually stacks with lucky pants because again lucky pants on its own already has faster ready time for hand cannons but it made me feel better you might as well rock quick access sling i mean even if it just slightly stacks and does have some diminishing returns the faster the better overall i was extremely impressed with this i was also slightly annoyed with i don't know how dumb he actually is i mean it, it really is dumb a lot of this gameplay is done with mouse and keyboard i would say the target acquisition with lucky pants for controller is probably the stickiest thing in the game i i can only imagine i haven't even tried it yet as far as the multitude of guardians that i was going up against with something like disruption break there really is nothing they can do like the only thing they possibly can do to counter this is mountaintop me funny enough or maybe just snipe me before i get to them but if i got you in a lane and especially in a 1v1 even if you're rocking a 600 round per minute an auto rifle or a 150 round per minute hand cannon it really doesn't matter because you're gonna get blasted by a grenade launcher and then immediately followed up with an auto aims last word oh that's doing 50 percent more damage and i guess to some extent there is somewhat of a skill gap here because you have to swap weapons but come on you're swapping weapons about the only skill gap that's there is landing your grenade launcher shot i mean that's about it and keeping your range relatively close so that your target acquisition for last word is still present currently right now though this has been the nastiest thing i've played with here recently I actually like this more than Traveler's Chosen. I like Traveler's Chosen a lot, but the combination of Lucky Pants and Last Word with the Disrupted Break Grenade Launcher it's just too good. I fear for the day that Last Word gets an Exotic Catalyst, which we think is going to happen eventually, maybe beyond light. What that Exotic Catalyst will be, some say it's going to be Icarus. I don't think so. I think it's going to just play into the role of the Exotic itself. It'll probably be something like Fanfire stays with you even after getting a kill, which again, every stack of Fanfire increases reload speed, but most notably accuracy. When that day comes, I'll be scared for all of us. Trust me. It's builds like these that should make you go, you know what? The Crucible experience is just to be a fun one so if you're looking at this build right now and you're going man cross how can you ruin crucible yet again why do you keep showing stuff like this over and over and it's simply because we like to have fun so guys try it out for yourselves give it a go my hunter mains check it out titans and warlocks we'll be gathering some builds for you guys here soon i will say this and it's kind of a shocker to me the most dedicated people on this channel that watches our videos are hunter mates Titans, what the hell are we gonna pick it up or what look at this i got more hunters watching class breakdowns than warlocks and titans i'm not mad i'm just disappointed fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right